Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's fifth grade, module one, lesson six. Now I'm going to go ahead and start out with the I can objective here. I can set up and solve multi-step problems with at least two steps. And the learning objective, fluently multiply multi-digit whole numbers to solve multi-step problems. Prior learning is that in fourth grade, students multiplied a whole number of up to four digits by a one-digit whole number and multiplied two-digit numbers using strategies based on place value and the properties of operations. All right, moving into lesson six, the step it out. There's a fun park amusement, rents food carts, game booths, equipment, and rides for parties, fundraisers, and county fairs. The rental price are shown below. So 50, uh, $59 for food carts, $79 for a game booth, $99 for equipment, and $149 for rides. So in May, 36 game booths and 14 rides were rented for a fun park. How much did fun park earn from the game booth and ride rentals in May? So right now we're only looking at the game booths and the rides. This information isn't applicable to this problem. So what do we need to find? We need to find the total cost. We want to write a multiplication equation to model each cost. So it's important to remember that I'm doing 36 game booths and 14 rides. That's going to apply to our multiplication problem. So I need the price of the game booth, 79, but I need that to be multiplied by 36 for 36 total game booths. So I'm going to do 79, the cost times the amount. I'm going to multiply that and then I'm going to add it to the total of the next multiplication, which is 149 for the ride multiplied by 14 rides. So 149 times 14. So I'm going to find those two multiplication products and then add them together. Okay, so find each cost, show your work. So I'm just gonna do two different multiplication problems and find the answer. Go ahead and work along with me. So I'm gonna do 79 and 36. So nine times six is 54. Six times seven is 42. Plus five is 47. Placeholder zero. 9 times 3 is 27, and 3 times 7 is 21, plus 3 is 23. Added together, I'm going to get 4, 14, carry the 1, 7, 8, and a 2. So, for just the game booths, it's going to be 2,844. Don't forget to go back and do the rides for 14 rides. So 149 by 14, 9 times 4 is 36, 4 times 4 is 16 plus 3 is 19, 4, 5, placeholder 0, and then by 1, so it's just going to be 9, 4, and 1. I add it together, it's going to be 6, 18, carry that 1, 10, carry the 1 again, and two. All right, so then the rides is gonna be 2,086. So how much did Fun Park earn from the game booth and ride rentals in May? Explain how you found the answer. All right, so now I need to add the two together. So 2,844 and 2,086. Adding them together. It's going to be 10, carry that 1, 12, 13, 9, and 4. So it'll be 4,930. And then in your own words, just go ahead and explain how you found the answer. All right, so that was number one. Now we're going to move on to page 26 and do number two. I'm just going to zoom up on this problem here. 
So it says new floor tiles are being installed in a restaurant at an amusement park. There are 254 tiles needed to cover the floor. What is the area of the floor? Now, before I send you off to do this problem, I want to clarify just a couple of things. This gray square over to the right is the tile. The tile is showing that the um, length and the width is 18 inches by 24 inches. Okay, so first we need to find the area of that tile, and then it's saying there's 254 of those tiles on the floor um, of the, oh, I already forgot what it was, the new flower tiles are being started in a restaurant and uh, at an amusement park. So it's being installed in this restaurant inside of the amusement park. So we need to find out the area of the tile inside of the restaurant, and then find out that area of the tile, and then multiply it by 254 for the total amount of tiles. All right, there is area to show your work through A, B, and C. So I want you to go ahead and pause, work through those problems. Don't forget finding both parts of the problem and then come back when you're ready. All right, hopefully you had enough time to solve this problem. I'm gonna go through A, B, and C now. So A, how can you use the measurements of a floor tile to find the area of a restaurant? So we know that if we find the measurement of one tile and then multiply it by 254, we'll be able to find the entire floor, all right? So I want you to say that in your own words, hopefully you did, in A. B is what is the area of each floor tile? This is where we're going to take our length times our width, our 18 times our 24, and multiply them together. So 18 times 24 it's going to be 32. 8 times 4 is 32. Carry the 3. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7. Placeholder 0, moving into the tens place, multiplying by 2. 2 times 8 is 16. Carry that 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. When you add them together, you're going to get 2, 13, carry the 1, and 4. So this is going to be 432, and this is actually inches squared. All right, now what is the area of the restaurant floor? Now, now that we know that it's 432, we're going to be multiplying this by 254. This is three digits times three digits. So give yourself some grace. Um, and try to work through, and you are going to be having that 100s place multiplied, so you are going to need two placeholder zeros. All right, so I'm going to write a little bit small, see if I can fit, fit it all in. So 254 and 432. And again, this is taking the amount of tiles based on the area of each tile. All right, so 4 times 2 is 8. 5 times 2 is 10, carry the 1, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, placeholder 0, moving into the 3 in the tens place, 3 times 4 is 12, carry the 1, 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16, and then 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. All right, now we're moving into the hundreds place with that four. So we need to have those two zeros to show that we are multiplying in the hundreds place. All right, so four times four is 16. Carry the one. Four times five is 20 plus one is 21. And four times two is eight plus two more is 10. Ooh, let me close that zero. All right, so now I'm going to add all three partial products together. So I'm going to have 8, 2, 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 2 more is 17. Carry that 1, 1 plus 7 plus 1, 8, 9, 0, and 1. Whew, big number. So that's going to be 109,728. All right. Those are our two step it out problems. Go ahead and finish the rest of the lesson, check your understanding, and I will see you starting in module two.